All right, welcome back to Community Focus here on Channel 6 TV. I'm Kenny Fogel. Glad you could join us tonight, and we're going to let the good times roll. That's what they say down in New Haven about this time every year. And we've got the Iron Horse Festival coming your way. And I got the main man for the Iron Horse Festival. He's been been with it for several years now because I know we've talked, Mr. Andy Hall. Andy, thank you for coming in here today. We and appreciate being here and uh, having the opportunity to speak about the now festival. Now, this is not your first Iron Horse Festival, <clears throat> is it? No, this is the 26th one. We <laughs> celebrated the 25th last year. Uh -huh. And this year we're going to have a pictorial history of posters and uh, books with pictures and cutouts and everything in City Hall, and it'll be there all day. We hope people will come by and see the development of the festival over the years, and it gives you an opportunity to, to see all the pageant winners and everything for the past years, and the senior kings and queens. And you also see, sadly, uh, a lot of the folks that were in the first festivals are, have passed on and they're yeah. no longer with us. So it's a, it's a good memory, but a sad uh, yeah. uh, uh, time to look back. Absolutely, mm -hmm. but uh, now I'm sure you were you there at the very first Iron Horse Festival. I was. Was it for a little bit different than today's? A uh, whole lot different. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a, a few things together to to celebrate the uh, Kentucky Railway Museum coming to town at that time, and that does seem like it's been 26 years, does it? Well, no, it doesn't seem possible. <laughs> <clears throat> So 26 years ago, this started up as just a little celebration of the of the railway museum, the uh, train going through town, which goes quite often. Now, now, what do you got going on there? Well, we uh, have tried to develop some kind of a structure that we work with each year. Of course, we try to uh, uh, get a theme each year that uh, honors and coordinates with the Grand Marshal. And mm -hmm. uh, in the past, we brought in Grand Marshals from outside, but recently we've done uh, Grand Marshals to kind of honor people in the community that have mm -hmm. uh, been leaders and made good contributions to our community. And that's been groups as well as individuals. Mm -hmm. And this year we chose to honor the truckers who are an important economical value to uh, not only New Haven, but to all of Kentucky and the, the nation. And, and so we are uh, asking uh, truckers to uh, uh, enter their rig. We're, we want to enter bobtail rigs, not the whole trailer, <laughs> but we really think that that's an important uh, uh, ingredient of Absolutely. our society and our county, and so we wanted to honor those well, people. I've never seen that before, and I think that's a great <laughs> idea. Yeah, so hopefully be a lot of trucks show up that day down there. So well, lot, is there a lot of truckers from that area? Or is there just well, a... you'd be surprised because there's a lot of farmers now that have grain truck after grain truck rolling yeah. all the time. Yeah. Uh, Edlin Brothers is over there in Lion Station. We've got uh, the big farmers that have their own uh, groups, the Boones and the Reddings and the Petersons and, yeah. and, and others. And, and of course... Uh, we have Curtis Ballard uh, right. that well, yeah, hauls exactly. all over the nation and, and the Smith Trucking and right. yeah, there's many others. I don't want to try to name them all. I'm going to get in trouble for leaving <laughs> someone out. But uh, we, we feel like that it was time to uh, give notice and, mm -hmm. and uh, credit to those people that uh, make these contributions to our economy. Yeah, and there'll community. be other people in the parade too. I'm sure there's old cars yeah. and tractors and everything else coming through that parade because I've been to it a few times. It's pretty interesting. Oh yes, and we'll, we've got politicians that yeah, are they in there. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a call from one yesterday and we invited <laughs> them to come and be with us. So uh, that's kind of standard yeah. in, every couple of years. So anyway, uh, they're always welcome to, to try to visit and yeah. give their ideas and, and learn about New Haven. Exactly. That's, that's, that's a two-way street. they got to learn about you as much as you got to learn about them. Now, I know that you got some music going on. you got several other things going on as well. Right. Well, we uh, have uh, gospel music uh, from the local area churches, mm -hmm. uh, both groups and soloists. And last year we did that, and it turned out great. And we, uh, we, we got a lot of encouragement to do it again, so we're going to do it again. So, uh, you know, the parish churches and uh, the local uh, Rolling Fork Baptist Church and others that want to participate can, and uh, those that want to come, we're going to practice at St. Catherine Catholic Church uh, next Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock, some of the songs we're going to do, and we invite any uh, choir member that, from any church that wants to come to be there with us. 
Okay, now the date of this, now the primary day is September, Saturday, September the 10th. So that's when, that's when the majority of everything goes on. I know there's things that goes on around those dates, but uh, <laughs> the, the, then you have the streets blocked off. You have a, right. a lot of vendors in the area. So a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you right. can't miss it. If you get to New Haven, you'll see it. Right. Well, we have it on Center Street, which is uh, actually Highway 52, and that's right. where it's blocked off. And, of course, during parade time at 2.15 till about 3, we'll, we'll have 31E blocked down until the parade clears out. And, Have but, any good food? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> great food of all kinds. The uh, pork producers and the beef producers are always there with yeah. great sandwiches and, and, and entrees. And of course we've got others. We, we usually limit our food booths to about five or six because mm -hmm. we want everybody to make money and we want a variety. So we don't want the same thing. And so we've, we've got all our food vendors lined up and they do a great job every year. So I know you have a 5K every year. You have a baby contest. You got. I mean, it seems like all day long there's something going on. Well, the pageants uh, start early in the morning, uh, around uh, 10 o'clock, and they go from zero up to age 18. Uh -huh. uh, at different, you know, whether it's a little princess or the or the the queen or whatever. And of course, we have a crowning each year of the uh, senior king and queen. This year, that's John and Karen Newton. Mm -hmm. Usually, uh, the couple is nominated for uh, their contributions or things they've done in the community and yeah. that they need to be honored uh, for what they've done. And so that's the case this year. John and Karen, I don't have their, uh, their bio together yet, but yeah. they've done a lot of contributions in the areas of, of uh, little league coaching and things like that. So yeah. they've you know, touched a lot of young people. You know, the bouncy castles and all that kind of good stuff for the kids. Yes, so. yes, we've got a five dollar uh, wrist uh, band that day that entitles any uh, kids wearing that to bounce and ride all day uh, <laughs> in and out uh, as they see fit. Mm -hmm. And we want to make um, a note and credit here also to the Rolling Fork Baptist Church staff. They uh, coordinate each year for us a lot of games for the kids, they're free, there's cake walks and different things and sack races and, and a lot of prizes given away uh, and the, the Rolling Fork Baptist Church uh, staff people coordinate a lot of that so they, uh, they do a great service every year for the festival and I want to recognize them for what they absolutely, do. Absolutely, absolutely. So I know you got a lot of sponsors and a lot of things going on and I guess you know we, we need to mention the, the Iron Horse Festival is with the Kentucky Railway Museum. I mean that is what the Iron Horse is. A lot of people may not uh, understand that's the old term for a, for a, a, a train. So uh, and I'm sure they'll be open that day for somebody that hadn't been to the museum. That, that's quite a treat. I mean yes. I love going there. Yes, the museum is it's very worthwhile opening and, uh, and seeing, and, and I, I think it's free that day, all day. There is one train ride, and of course um, that'll start out uh, right before the parade, and, uh -huh. and, uh, but anybody that uh, needs to, do, to uh, uh, ride the train, they can, they can simply look, look up Kentucky Railway Museum and get their website and, and buy tickets ahead of time or whatever they want to do. Well, anybody south of the river knows how good, good a time this is. Anybody, that's say, <clears throat> north of the river or outside the community or watching it from another county, needs to visit New Haven. Because New Haven is a very, uh, very tight-knit community. It's a community, one of the few that's left in the world, I think, that uh, <clears throat> everybody pretty much knows everybody down there. It's a great little community to be in and be from. It's very friendly, and we invite everybody to come and, and be with us, not just for the festival, but come back and see us. And, yeah. and of course, New Haven has a lot of uh, old family connections that, that go out everywhere. And, and you've heard the old expression that Louisville and Lexington are just made up of little town people that went there to live. And so that's pretty much, uh, we, it's kind of a homecoming uh -huh. for a lot of folks that come back from Lexington and Louisville. And, and of course, uh, we, we draw from other towns, Hodgenville and Loretta and Bardstown and all the surrounding areas yeah. and, and Elizabethtown. Uh, so anyway, it, uh, it, we're a great location in the middle of all that. So. All right, well, New Haven's day to shine. We hope you get a chance to come on down and visit New Haven. New Haven, for those of you that may not know where New Haven is, it's on the 31 East South. If you're in Bardstown, you go south and you're going to run into it. You're going to run into New Haven. It's right on, on the southern part of Nelson <coughs> County and uh, uh, easy place to find and once you get there you're going to have a good time.
So uh, Andy, I know Absolutely. you've been doing, doing this for years and, uh, mm. and and probably improving every year. And uh, well, we hope we are. We're we working to. on next year, I imagine. <laughs> well, we'll start the we'll start the next month after this is over. We we meet uh, monthly around the clock except December. We take December off, and uh, but we do make our uh, uh, awards. Uh, the festival not only is is a place in a, a memorial area to have a good time. But some of the uh, profits we raise, we contribute back to the community in, in the form of uh, uh, different uh, donations, uh, mm -hmm. the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, the, the local library there, uh, you know, the, some of the school projects that are involved. So we try to uh, uh, be a, a, a strong participating uh, uh, member in our community. So we're, we're, we, we've got a lot of individuals that do a lot of things that are on our festival board, and, and we as a group want to stand out as a public citizen as a group as well. So. All right. Well, if anybody wants to find more information, got plenty of brochures we got here, but if you want to give them a call, you can call down to the City of New Haven. It's 502-549-3177, or go to their website. they got a website at newhaven.ky.gov, and they've probably got all kinds of information there. So if you want to find out some schedule times and things of that nature, then uh, it's, it's all put, put together, very well put together over, the, over, the, over September 10th, Saturday, September 10th, and there's something going on all day long. So Andy, I know you'll be tired on so, Sunday, but we'll, <laughs> you rest up the next day. All right, I will. <laughs> well, thanks Listen, a lot. thank you for inviting well, we us, appreciate and you we being appreciate here, uh, all the folks that are watching. And we, we hope to see you on the 10th. All right. So Thank you so much. Iron Horse Festival in New Haven. We've got Andy Hall here with us. Stick around. We'll be talking about a lot more on Channel 6. Stick around. More to come.